Men's 200 meters, once again, our old friend and colleague Otto Bolden, that record still proudly stands, no question about that. The fastest time in the country so far, 20 flat. Michael Norman already a very, very strong performance at 400 meters. He was going to win the race easily. He knew that when he was in the blocks, but still put in a very, very hard race. And you hear all the USC athletes talking about executing as we look at some of his superlatives. 2016 U.S. Junior Outdoor 200-meter champion, but I think a lot of people remember from that year, he gets to the finals in the Olympic trials in the 200 as just a high schooler in one of the most loaded 200-meter fields we've ever seen. And then, of course, the world indoor record at 400 meters earlier this season. He has the second fastest time in the NCAA this year in the 200. He's looking to compete more at a national level this year because last year a few injuries just limited him to the 400 this year i think he's healthy he's strong he's ready to compete in both events at the ncaa meet and it's a qu good question to ask which is his better event because he is uh very accomplished at both by the way our friend otto bolden did reach out to me today i know he's watching so a hello to him he went and got sling tv just for the pac-12 championship <laughs> so hello otto Keep an eye on Norman's start because he's going against some very accomplished 100 meter runners, but he is able to eat up the stagger within his first couple strides. Ricky Morgan Jr. running out of lane number eight, Michael Norman in lane number five. And keep an eye on Cravon Gillespie, winner of the 100 meters for Oregon in lane number four. Fair start, and Gillespie has the luxury of having his sight sets on Norman, but Norman already pulling away. Cravon Gillespie on the inside, Michael Norman running by himself and running hard. And this is something special we'll most likely see here. Unbelievable first tur turn for Norman. Crosses the line at 19.95. Wow. Unofficially, we'll try to get you some wind. Wind unofficially 2.8, so you won't be able to etch that in stone. But the 1984, we're now told unofficially, you look at a day where he's going to have some legal wind, and that is a very impressive mark. And it brings up the question, what's the better event? You know, this is this is really a gauntlet he's laid down here. Well, why pick one? Who's, what, was Michael Johnson better at the two or the four? Good question. Okay, okay. It's a nice debate. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a nice problem to have. It is a nice problem to have. <laughs> you know, I look at Norman in the 200, and his start is what blows me away, how well he is able to run that first turn. I mean, you look at Craven Gillespie, mm -hmm. someone that went 10-12 as far as his PR. He isn't able to catch him with the stagger on the inside, so that goes to show you just how fast he is out of the blocks. And then, of course, that 400-meter training allows him to finish strong. He doesn't slow down until a little bit at the end. And so to answer your question, which is his better event, I think at this point, I'm still going to lean towards the 400 somewhat just because he has so much front end speed that'll really help him separate from the field in the first 200. And he's shown the strength. But my goodness, if he continues to improve at this rate, maybe you do throw the 200 in there eventually. But all I know is we're seeing one of the great 200, 400 meter runners we've seen at the collegiate level really just developing an incredible career here at USC as just a sophomore. Right in front of our eyes, too. What a pleasure to be able to watch a Michael Norman compete here at these championships. Michael Norman doubles up in the four and the two. Craven Gillespie won the 100 and finishes second here at 200 meters.